What's up, YouTube? It's Chad Weems, Cava County Kid. Got another update for y'all. My um, Stinger voltmeter came in today. And uh, it's really nice. I like it. Got the little black plastic on it with the blue lights. I got the blue uh, LED lights inside there. I don't think it's LED, but, you know, I just wanted to say that because it sounded real cool. And I, got, I ran the audio pipe face knob yesterday. So uh, let's go to the trunk. And um, see how it's looking from the trunk. It's been raining and stuff. We got like a hurricane warning today. But it's not going to be any like uh, tornadoes and shit. It's more of a hurricane than a tornado. Actually, it's nothing at all because it's just nothing. <laughs> Everyone's just overreacting about the storm and shit. But uh, this is what we got here. Taped up the terminals right there. So it's not all nasty looking. And, uh, yeah. I can't figure out really what I'm going to do with the amp as far as, like, mounting it. Because I, I usually just have it like that. It doesn't move anywhere. So, I had it on top of here. But I put it right there. So, um, I had to unplug the, the base knob because it's not going to reach from there all the way over here. I might have to run it from the right side over to the left side in order for it to reach. So, but for now, it's going to stay right there. But uh, let me just show you how the voltmeter is looking. Close the trunk, just in case it starts raining. Okay. Okay, so what I did was, as KK also said... He said, uh, I wired mine into the remote wire and the 12 volt constant, you know, that's going to the head unit and of course the ground to the ground in there. And then the, uh, let's see, so the remote wire, the 12 volt and the ground got all that wired up, right? So it turns on when my head unit turns on, I tweaked it, make sure it was accurate using my, uh, DMM, uh, as you can see, it's like resting at 12.3 with the car battery on. That's it. No car on. Uh, let's see where it's at when I turn the car on now. All right. All right. Now, resting at 3.7, 3.6. Um, let's see what happens when I hit the gas a little bit. Alright, we're still at 3.7. I tapped on the gas a little bit. Um, let's play some music real quick. I got the Ying Yang Twin CD in the, verse, the first one. Alley, return of the Ying Yang Twin. Say, ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, ay. Let's <laughs> play that one more time. After whistle while you twerk. She got her hands on her knees and then her bones on her back. She had that dirty. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, so voltmeter's hooked up good, base knob, everything. Um, I got some bad news though. <sighs> right.
right here uh you see the sub right here this is the the d2 right here um i had some stuff inside my trunk and one of the boots i guess had fell over and was up against the sub while i was playing and it scuffed up the surround on it which isn't a big deal because it doesn't affect the performance just the the look of it that's it but no one's really ever going to see it unless i show them and what's in the trunk and give them a demo but that's pretty much it and something else happened i'm not too happy about with my amp you know how i had it up here i thought it was nice and secure but i guess it wasn't and when i pulled up and everything got out my car went inside the house was waiting for the the meter and it came back outside when uh it got here and it was raining out and i guess i have i do have a little bit of a leak in my trunk but it only goes to like sometimes it might leak through right here just a little bit but like maybe over here a little bit let's see it's not wet over there sometimes it does it sometimes it doesn't hold up yeah uh I don't know. It was a little bit wet over there. I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't do it. Um, I don't know, but so the amp was like flipped over like that. Um, but beforehand, even before that, I got inside the car and there was like a burnt smell. Uh, wish that smell wasn't there. Um, before I got out of the car, but it was there when I had got inside the car and uh. I didn't know if I had uh, burnt out my subs or something like that, or I just didn't really know. Um, but I popped open the trunk, and the smell was coming from the trunk, and uh, and I smelt the amp, and the smell was coming from the amp. And uh, I was thinking that since the amp was like flipped over, uh, I saw like maybe a droplet, a couple droplets of water on the other side of the amp. If you haven't seen the amp on the other side, it has the little vents, and it has the. Uh, fan right there maybe a droplet or two of water got inside the amp and messed up the circuits in it because now it, it makes like a really bad smell now and it gets like really hot and let me mind you I had the the gain at halfway um, set pretty conservative and my voltage as you can see doesn't drop below 13.2 at full tilt so and ever, like I said everything was fine before I got out the car and that smell wasn't there so I don't understand how that smell got there in the first place if everything was off uh, maybe since it's hooked up to everything uh, maybe even though it was off that that uh that droplet or two of water could have still did something to the circuits anyways so uh, I mean it doesn't go into protect but I call this this uh, custom audio shop or whatever that's in Virginia because on a uh, Audiopipe.com, you can't call their number, they don't have a number, you have to fill out a form, which I'm not going to wait for that shit. I talked to this guy, and he was saying that, yeah, he said, the, the water probably fried the mess, fucked up the circuits and everything, and that's why it's getting hot and making a funny smell, so, uh, it's a bummer, because I just got the amp, I paid $100 for it, but, hey, you know, it's just $100, I can always get another amp, and next time be more careful, but it still plays, so, but he was like, you might want to unhook it before it blows your speakers, and you know, so, I don't know, so, I don't know really what I'm going to do about that, I guess I'll just keep it for now until something happens to it, so, <sighs> yeah, that's pretty much about it, um, next, next update might be some zero gauge, or, I don't know, even though the next update is going to be, maybe, I think the next update is probably going to be some new subs, or maybe a new amp if this one goes up, it'll be like a new amp then, so, but yeah, I want to say thanks to, uh, Chris Sturgis 94 for giving me some advice. Uh, K Chaos, J uh, Jones Car Audio One, Old Bass Fan, Old School Bass Fan Nine, AKA Master Blaster Seven Three Five, um, CMX Audio, I think you call them. Um, yeah, all y'all, Taylor Prohaska, Donnie G for helping me out with the battery and the amp. Um, yeah, so that's about it right there. So I'm about to go back inside. It's really stormy out and nasty and shit out here. So, all right, peace.